Hello everyone, I'm Carol. Welcome to Storytime. Our story today is The Spider's Web. Here's a spider. Look, it's got a head, a body and how many legs? How many legs? Eight. Yes, that's right. And here's The Spider's Web. In the story, there are four friends. Collins, a caterpillar. And look, Collins got a head, eyes, a body, legs. And what's that? Yes, he's got arms too. He's a very special caterpillar. And Bella, Bella's a bee. And look, Bella's got a head, eyes, a body, legs. And yes, you're right, Bella's got arms too. She's a very special bee. And look, Bella's also got wings. Bella can fly. And Colin and Bella are also friends with Gary. Gary's a glowworm. Look, you can see his light. Gary's got a head, eyes, a body, legs, and he's also got wings. Gary can fly and you can see his light at night. Colin, Bella and Gary are also friends with Lucy, the ladybird. And Lucy's got a head, eyes, a body, legs. And Lucy's also got wings. I don't think you can see them, but Lucy can fly like Bella and Gary too. So let's play a game Colin says. Colin is going to ask you to do actions and when he says please I want you to do them and if he doesn't say please I want you to stand still and fold your arms. So are you ready? Can everyone stand up please? Okay so Colin says, shake your head, please. Colin says, shake your arms, please. Colin says, shake your body, please. Shake your legs. Uh-huh, you did it. You folded your arms. Quite right. Very good. Let's go again. Are you ready? Colin says, point to your eyes, please. Colin says, point to your ears, please. Colin says, point to your mouth, please. Point to your nose. Ah, uh -huh, got you. You did it. One more time. Are you ready? Colin says, shake your body, please. Colin says, shake your head, please. Colin says, shake your legs, please. Shake your arms. You didn't do it. You're getting very good at this game, I can see. So, in our story of the spider's web and Colin, Gary, Bella and Lucy, what happens, do you think? I'd love to hear your ideas. What's that, do you think? Maybe the spider can't make its web and the bugs help him. Maybe, maybe that's true. What else? What else might happen? Maybe the spider, maybe the spider's web is broken and Colin and the others help the spider to mend it. And what's that, do you think? That's a good idea. Maybe Colin gets one of his legs stuck in the web and the others help to get it out. So let's listen to the story and find out what happens. I want you to be ready to answer three questions. Number one, who's in danger? Number two, who can't help? Who can't help? And number three, who can help? So, are you ready for the story? Are you sitting comfortably? Let's listen and find out what happens. 
It's sunny. Colin, Lucy, Gary and Bella go for a walk. Oh wow, says Gary. Look, a chrysalis. And amazing, says Lucy, a butterfly. Hello, says the butterfly. I'm a butterfly. I've got a head, a body, six legs and two wings and I want to fly and discover the world. Goodbye, butterfly. Bye. The butterfly flies over the country and fields. The butterfly loves the trees and the flowers and the sky and the sunny weather. But suddenly the butterfly flies into a spider's web. Oh, oh no, I'm stuck. My head, my body, my wings, my legs. Ha ha ha, says the spider. I'm hungry. Yum, yum, yum. A butterfly with a head, a body, two wings and six legs for lunch. Mmm, delicious. Along comes a beetle. Hello, beetle. Please help me. I'm stuck in the spider's web. My head, my body, my wings and my legs are stuck. Please help me, beetle. Oh no, sorry. I can't help you. I'm scared of spiders. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Along comes a grasshopper. Hello, grasshopper. Please help me. I'm stuck in the spider's web. My head, my body, my legs, my wings are stuck. Please help me, and the spider's hungry. Oh dear, no, I'm sorry, I can't help you. I'm scared of spiders. Along comes a snail. Hello, snail, please help me. I'm stuck in the spider's web. My head, my body, my legs, my wings are stuck and the spider's hungry. Please help me. Oh no, sorry, I can't help you, says the snail. I'm scared of spiders. Oh no, who can help the poor butterfly stuck in the spider's web? <clears throat> Suddenly, the butterfly sees Colin, Gary, Bella and Lucy. Oh, hello bugs, please help me. I'm stuck in the spider's web. My head, my body, my legs, my wings are stuck. Oh, of course we can help you, butterfly. Come on, Gary. Come on, Lucy. Come on, Bella. Come on, Colin. Let's help the butterfly. The bugs work very hard. Now your head is free. Now your legs are free. Now your body is free. And now your wings are free. Come on, Colin, just a little bit more. We're nearly there. Oh, 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 I'm so happy. I'm nearly free. At last, the butterfly is free from the spider's web. Oh, thank you, Colin. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Bella. Oh dear, oh look, who's coming? It's the spider and he's very fast. Come on, 
quick, let's go! And that's the end of our story. So can you answer the three questions on the story? Number one, who's in danger? The butterfly, yes, you're right. Why? Exactly, because it's stuck in the spider's web. Who can't help? Can you remember? The, the beetle, yes, very good. The, the grasshopper, exactly. And the snail. And why can't they help? Yes, quite right, because they're scared of the spider. So who can help the butterfly? Yes, of course, Colin, Lucy, Gary and Bella. Do you remember at the beginning of the story, there's a chrysalis and the butterfly comes out of the chrysalis. Do you know the life cycle of the butterfly? That a butterfly starts as a tiny little egg on a leaf and out of the egg comes a tiny little caterpillar. The caterpillar grows and grows until it becomes a big fat caterpillar. And then for several weeks, it's in a chrysalis and it stays very still and one day it comes out of the chrysalis and it's a butterfly. Would you like to act out the story of the life cycle of the butterfly now? Are you ready? I want you to be a tiny little egg on a leaf. So curl yourself up into a tiny little ball and stay very still. And now start to move and out of the egg comes a tiny little caterpillar. Can I see you being a tiny little caterpillar? And then you grow into a big fat caterpillar. Can I see you being a caterpillar? Lovely. And now you're in a chrysalis and you stay very still. You don't move at all. And you're like that for several weeks. And then one day you start to move and out of the chrysalis, comes a beautiful butterfly. So can I see you being a beautiful butterfly now? That's lovely, very good. Can you draw pictures to show the life cycle of the butterfly for your teacher? And that's the end of our story time today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye for now.